was. That thing's not gonna work very good facing into the sun. Yeah, it's probably not. Hey man, I know you from YouTube. How are you doing? <laughs> Damn it. You it's can shut that off, you won't need it. <laughs> okay, you're good. I saw you on YouTube. How you doing, man? I'm doing right. So, okay. Come down to visit. Can I, can I get your information or can I just go by on YouTube? Come on. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. You're, you're fine, uh, but can I just for my contact report just to put you, did I make contact with you or no? If you need a name, just to put in there, Good Citizen. Good Citizen? Okay. I know you're from YouTube. How you been? Where do you, where do you, I'm doing all right. Where do you live? Where do you live? What area? Because I've seen you like in Pasadena, Houston. That's the area I live in, Houston area. Okay. okay. Down, down do you, towards Galveston. Do you travel just all different kinds of places? Okay. And today, Corpus Christi's getting my attention. Good, man. Do you know why I'm here? I'm Officer Ramos, man, with the Fort Police. I'm David. Yeah, what? Well, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me. Oh, I mean, I, I came up here for a specific reason. The, uh... Oh, hold on. Okay. Everything's clear. Everything's good out here. Um, what? Well, you, you, did you see my videos about the gang conference up in uh, up in San Antonio? What was it? I'm sorry. The gang conference up in San Antonio? Hey, let's go get, I, I don't trust people. Uh, you said something about gang? What? Remember they had the gang conference up in San Antonio? Did you see that video? I didn't. Okay. So, the, the, there's an association for gang investigators okay and they had a conference in san antonio well harris county spent thirty thousand dollars sending guys over to this conference in a five-star hotel they stayed there all week and showed up with their kids i mean it was ridiculous okay so they're having a similar event here um it's the narcotics officers association okay. and harris county uh it sent people don't, down to it don't they do that every year yes they're doing it okay. at the omni and they always do it, it vacation spots like this, so I'm down for that. Oh, okay. And so while I was here, I thought I'd pop around and okay. have a look at some of the plants. And, okay. it, it, and I got to say, the security yeah. here has been really good. They've they've driven yeah. by and just waved, and that was which well, is just how it should well, be. Well, they called you in, but you know, well, you sure, know, they but should. You know why? But yeah. you know why it is. But yeah, I saw you, and, and uh, you know, I think the way we approach it, uh, you know, is just, you know, you're not doing anything illegal, and uh, you know. But, you know, we still have to do our due diligence, I, you know, so. I don't have a you problem. You know, it's one thing if I came up here and you fucking, you know, yeah, well. and you're hauling butt, you know. But, yeah, man, I recognize you, man. I, I appreciate it, everything you do, man, so. Well, uh, that's good. That's good. It's yeah. good It's good to know that, that officers are watching and, and keeping track of things. I do. And I because do. you guys are learning from it. Yeah. And uh, it, well, saved, it got, may have saved you from. <laughs> well, no, you also, well, you also got a. Uh, uh, I used to be with HPD for seven years, and I thought oh. you did some, some guys at HPD, and they actually did pretty good, I thought. Most of the time, HPD does really good. Now, I did have a problem was a couple that, of days ago. Was that the one, at the FBI one building? had a problem downtown when you were, somebody was filming officers parking in front of the courthouse. That was me. Was that you? Yeah, that was me. An officer or? Yeah. You know, that's my classmate, right? Uh, the academy. <laughs> what's so bad is the constables came up and told him who I was and what I was doing, and he just wouldn't quit. Well, to me, to me, what's going on with that is they, they give us a placard. They yeah. They give us a placard uh, because you know I don't think as a as an officer, just my opinion, you shouldn't have to pay to park if you're going to court. Sure. Because think about it. I, I lived in West Houston in Richmond, Katy area. I had to drive you know my own my own vehicle. Um, you know my auto. Granted, I was getting okay. Paid, yeah. But. But, to, but they have to do something better because I, I saw where the issue was, but at the same time, that you know, parking is so scarce down there too. No, I, I absolutely agree yeah. with you. Now, what yeah. I've been doing is taking the, I go over there, the deal with Orr was purely by accident. All the constables know who I am. They know what I'm doing. I yeah. go over there and I video and I catch the people with their fake parking placards. Uh -huh. and, and the whole point isn't to get them in trouble. Yeah. Okay. The whole point is I've been going to county commissioner's court with this thing. Look, you know, you're spending all this money to do this and do that. Why can't we build a parking structure down here for these officers? Yeah. Okay. You know, and getting it, yeah, it getting yeah, it done it, yeah. is going to be a whole different yeah, thing. Yeah, like I said, because it's hard because you've got parking scarce over here. I, I worked a probation office in Harris County. Uh, I was a probation officer. You know, I had to pay three dollars every time I went to work. I had to pay three dollars out of my own pocket to park. See, and, and, and you know, as a probation officer, you're making like I was making like thirty thousand, and every day I had to pay fifteen dollars a week to park near those courthouses. I had to pay. Yeah, that, it, that's that's hard. I, I agree. Yeah, I agree with yeah, you. And but the yeah. point is, okay, I'm not adverse to doing something. Yeah. Okay. What I am adverse to is 
you know, it doesn't look right when you guys in uniform pull up there and just no, park. No, yeah, yeah. You know, that's the issue. Yeah, that's the yeah, issue. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what do you do? You yeah. got to do it right. Yeah, okay. You're, you're, you you yeah. lead by example. Yeah. No, I, I totally agree. So what did you leave HPD for? Uh, we had a, a family illness. My uh, mother-in-law was battling uh, terminal cancer for about five and a half years. And so we're from this area. Yeah. But uh, I miss it, man. I loved it. I loved it. Really? I think I'd it. rather be down here. Uh, this is different. You know, we're, we're dealing with port industry. Like a lot, a lot of what we're, we're coming into right now and, and, and something you could, you know, help with is drones. Because a lot of people are getting drones now, yeah. and there's so many rules associated with that. And you know, you know how it is. People see security saw you; they're gonna call us, and we have to do our due diligence yeah, yeah. check, right? No. It, and uh, but drones, drones. A lot of people, you know, us, as officers will approach them and say, "Hey, you know, what's going on? You know, what are you doing?" And they get, you know, they get a little bit. Some of them get a little bit upset, but it's that same point. Like, hey, I'm just talking to you to see what's going on. You know, I mean, you don't have to tell me anything you want to, but I still have to make contact. Because a lot of times, like I so said, you can't fly over a refinery. I, I think I say, I thought that the refineries themselves yeah, yeah, were restricted yeah, yeah, space. Yeah, there's rules in place and stuff like that. A lot of people are getting licenses. Well, you have um, to... Um, there's a lot of rules. You have to register them now. I yeah. didn't know that. People people get real, and it's like, hey, look, I'm not... I mean, you're free to do what you want, but we're just... We're really out here to tell you, hey, be careful with the refineries. Be careful going over the ship channel, stuff like that. So... That's a lot what we deal with is, is anytime someone's taking pictures, you gotta go out there and you got okay, they're taking senior pictures. They wanna take pictures by the water or, Yeah. you know, so it's it's a it's a delicate it's a delicate, you know, uh, water to tread sometimes. You know, because you oh. want you don't want someone to feel like you're harassing, but at the same time you're just trying to make sure that there's nothing more to it, you know? Sure. Well what got me started on the refineries was I had somebody that, that contacted me and said, Hey, my kid was at this park that's near a refinery uh -huh. doing this Pokemon Go thing. And yeah. security came out, the police came out, he got detained, yeah. you know, and all this stuff. And I'm like, well, that doesn't sound right. So, so I went out by Shell there in Deer Park. Yeah. Well, you've you seen what happened there. Uh, straight to jail. Was that the Harris County? Guy? Yeah. The yeah. Harris County guy? Yeah. 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 Straight to jail. Um, so that's what got me started on that. Yeah. And I can tell you that all up and down that there's a whole zone there. The ship channel has their own little incorporated city that is all the refinery. And I can tell you that their standing orders now are that they do not go outside the gate for anything. They call the local PD, let the local PD handle it. Even the off-duty officers working will not come outside the gate. I've, I've been out there and pressed them, and they, they do good now. You know, so hopefully that keeps somebody's kid from getting beat up or tased because he didn't listen and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But uh, these re refinery security up there has been atrocious, atrocious. But, uh, I, I mean, these guys here did, did a really good job. They, for the most part, didn't make any contact with me. They called you, which is what they should do. Yeah. You know, let the experts come out and yeah. do what needs yeah. to be done. Yeah. I have no issue with that. And even if I didn't recognize you, I mean, you know, you have the right, you know, to be, you know. On a public street. Yeah. And so, you know, there's no issue there. But, yeah, a lot of times we make contact with a lot of people and they sometimes they get a little bit. And it's like, hey, I just, just kind of just, you know, you don't have to tell me anything. But at the same time, I still have to do my due diligence. And, you, you know, know, a lot of people, this, this day and age, you know, a lot of people have seen too many videos of the police harassing people yeah. and, and so when they see you guys coming they just automatically expect yeah. that that you step out of the sun on what yeah. you want they just automatically expect that's what it's going to be yeah. and yeah, and in my experience about 80 percent of the time it's not yeah. and if it is if you just do what you're doing right now you can de-escalate things oh yeah you know it's when the guys give you an attitude and you get an attitude and next thing we know we're bumping heads and nothing good comes it's from a that different world man it's a different world so.